Millionaire Farmer here to talk about the joys of owning a REM VRX grain back. Keep in mind I am no, in no way affiliated with REM. Still, nonetheless, here to discuss the joys of owning a REM grain back. Within your first 400 hours of owning your REM grain back, 400 operation hours, you will become quite familiar with repairing the fucking REM grain back. You will learn terms such as drive dog, where you will think, what the fuck is a drive dog? You will also become very familiar with replacing, repairing, and redesigning drive dogs. Your first 400 hours that should have been relatively maintenance free, I guess maybe they are depending on how you look at it, you will replace almost all of the flighting, if not all of the flighting. You will in replace or repair almost all of the tube, if not all of the tube. You will also be uh, given the joy of replacing the drum, the bearings that hold the drum, the belts that drive the drum. You will go through bags upon bags of shear pins because you will not understand why they're breaking because you didn't understand the term drive dog. Once you learn all of these things, maintenance will become hourly, but you will be able to operate your REM grain back. After the 500 hour mark, or probably after the 450 hour mark, you will then replace the big fan. And upon removing the fan, you will see all of the markings from the pens and the chalk that they wrote on it are still visible and clearly legible. However, all of the welds and the fins have worn out. And you will wonder to yourself, sweet Jesus, how did the welds fail and the metal fail, but the chalk stay? Maybe they should build this thing out of chalk. You will also gain a tremendous amount of father-son bonding time as you argue daily over who bought this fucking thing and why did we buy it? If you were fortunate enough to own a previous REM model grain back, you will also argue about why did we sell it? That one wasn't a piece of shit. This new one is a total piece of shit. You will also argue over the fact that how did they build such a piece of shit? That why did the quality control go to certainly down if not non-existent at all? As you look for answers, on your REM grain back journey of how it's such a piece of shit, you will be told, we will get back to you, never to be called, ever, ever, ever. As you try to source parts from dealers who carry REM products as a one-off, you will be always two weeks away, no matter where you live. As you try to source flighting, thinking to yourself, maybe it's cheaper to just weld on new flighting, you will be told by the flighting people, it's probably cheaper just to buy the new thing, buy the whole new complete set, which maybe it is, but it's still seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800. You will also gain the absolute joy of trying to wrestle the steel piping and hosing onto the absolute bullshit piece of shit rack that they have built for you with their three ratchet strap hunk of junk operation Within four feet of driving the tractor head, you will then get out and put all of the tube and the pipe back on there. Rem grain back when operating. Yes, it can load up to 6,000 or more bushels per hour. However, if you factor in the hours and hours and hours of cursing maintenance and arguing with your dad about how big a piece of shit this Rem grain back is, you will now be down to around a bushel a minute, which isn't the best. The good people at REM grain back, if you had the thought that, well, maybe I'll just replace my grain back, have priced themselves so far out of the fucking market now that it doesn't make sense to own one ever. At I believe a price I've seen on the internet of around $65,000 for a new grain back. Keep in mind, five, six years ago, REM grain backs were selling for just under 30,000. So to sum this all up, we can simply say REM, the piece of shit your farm never knew that it needed.